Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. He who has overcome his fears will truly be free. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. The energy of the mind is the essence of life. He who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. The wise man does not expose himself needlessly to danger, since there are few things for which he cares sufficiently, but he is willing, in great crises to give even his life knowing that under certain conditions it is not worthwhile to live. To avoid criticism say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. To run away from trouble is a form of cowardice and, while it is true that the suicide braves death, he does it not for some noble object but to escape some ill. I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over self. The high-minded man must care more for the truth than for what people think. Fear is pain arising from the anticipation of evil. We make war that we may live in peace. To lead an orchestra, you must turn your back on the crowd. Courage is the first of human qualities because it is the quality which guarantees the others. We must be neither cowardly nor rash but courageous. We must no more ask whether the soul and body are one than ask whether the wax and the figure impressed on it are one. Happiness belongs to the self-sufficient. Happiness does not consist in amusement. In fact, it would be strange if our end were amusement, and if we were to labor and suffer hardships all our life long merely to amuse ourselves. The happy life is regarded as a life in conformity with virtue. It is a life which involves effort and is not spent in amusement. Happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life, the whole aim and end of human existence. It is of the nature of desire not to be satisfied, and most men live only for the gratification of it. Whatever lies within our power to do lies also within our power not to do. If things do not turn out as we wish, we should wish for them as they turn out. Happiness depends upon ourselves. One swallow does not make a summer, neither does one fine day, similarly one day or brief time of happiness does not make a person entirely happy. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. All paid jobs absorb and degrade the mind. To perceive is to suffer. Where your talents and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. All persons ought to endeavor to follow what is right, and not what is established. Happiness is a state of activity. The secret to humor is surprise. Comedy aims at representing men as worse, tragedy as better than in actual life. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. The educated differ from the uneducated as much as the living differ from the dead. Those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them, for these only gave them life, those the art of living well. To write well, express yourself like the common people, but think like a wise man. Learning is not child's play, we cannot learn without pain. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. For the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them. Those who know, do. Those who understand, teach. The aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. All men by nature desire to know. Wit is educated insolence. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. 
The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Poverty is the parent of revolution and crime. Learning is an ornament in prosperity, a refuge in adversity, and a provision in old age. Men acquire a particular quality by constantly acting a particular way, you become just by performing just actions, temperate by performing temperate actions, brave by performing brave actions. Poetry is finer and more philosophical than history, for poetry expresses the universal, and history only the particular. Memory is the scribe of the soul. The soul never thinks without a mental picture. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. Hope is a waking dream. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Time crumbles things, everything grows old under the power of time and is forgotten through the lapse of time. The aim of the wise is not to secure pleasure, but to avoid pain. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Virtue lies in our power, and similarly so does vice, because where it is in our power to act, it is also in our power not to act. Youth is easily deceived because it is quick to hope. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution, it represents the wise choice of many alternatives, choice, not chance, determines your destiny. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Moral excellence comes about as a result of habit. We become just by doing just acts, temperate by doing temperate acts, brave by doing brave acts. We praise a man who feels angry on the right grounds and against the right persons and also in the right manner at the right moment and for the right length of time. He who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. All human actions have one or more of these seven causes, chance, nature, compulsion, habit, reason, passion, and desire. Wise men speak when they have something to say, fools speak because they have to say something. Dignity does not consist in possessing honors, but in the consciousness that we deserve them. Through discipline comes freedom. Great men are always of a nature originally melancholy. Character may almost be called the most effective means of persuasion. He who is to be a good ruler must have first been ruled. Freedom is obedience to self-formulated rules. The law is reason free from passion. Without friends, no one would want to live, even if he had all other goods. Whosoever is delighted in solitude is either a wild beast or a god. What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. The antidote for fifty enemies is one friend. A friend is a second self. Wishing to be friends is quick work, but friendship is a slow ripening fruit. Misfortune shows those who are not really friends. Man is by nature a social animal, an individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. Society is something that precedes the individual. Anyone who either cannot lead the common life or is so self-sufficient as not to need to, and therefore does not partake of society, is either a beast or a god. He is his own best friend and takes delight in privacy whereas the man of no virtue or ability is his own worst enemy and is afraid of solitude. Anyone who has no need of anybody but himself is either a beast or a god. The worst form of inequality is to try to make unequal things equal. It is not enough to win a war, it is more important to organize the peace. I have gained this by philosophy, I do without being ordered what some are constrained to do by their fear of the law. 
It is not always the same thing to be a good man and a good citizen. In all things of nature there is something of the marvelous. The only stable state is the one in which all men are equal before the law. A tyrant must put on the appearance of uncommon devotion to religion. Subjects are less apprehensive of illegal treatment from a ruler whom they consider God-fearing and pious. On the other hand, they do less easily move against him, believing that he has the gods on his side. The weak are always anxious for justice and equality. The strong pay no heed to either. Nature does nothing uselessly. All earthquakes and disasters are warnings, there's too much corruption in the world. Mothers are fonder than fathers of their children because they are more certain they are their own. Thank you for listening to these wonderful quotes from the ancient Greek philosopher, Aristotle. We hope that you've gained a lot from it. This video was brought to you by Right Focus Foundations Africa, Right of Focus FA. We would like to hear your thoughts about these quotes, please share them with us in the comments section. Also, like our video, share it and subscribe to our channel so that you can keep getting notifications of our new uploads. Cheers to your success, see you in our next video.